Hey y'all, NK here and welcome back to The Cookery. Today, since Christmas season is in the air and everything is clearly going on sale, I thought I might do a product review of one of the products that I have been using for about three, four years. It's a waffle maker. And now this one actually works really well. It's super easy and I'll show you guys how to do it. So this is the Easy Easy Breezy Cuisinart Waffle Maker and it's cast iron. It's apparently non-stick but I still use a non-stick cooking spray anyway just in case to save the hassle. And so yeah, I'll basically be showing you guys with a plain and simple um, uh, Krusty's Belgian waffle mix. So it's super easy and I'm just going to show you guys how it works. So I have my box of um, waffle mix here. It, I'm obviously doing it like how I would normally do it and how I would normally use this. So I already have all my ingredients in here. This one only requires basically the uh, mix, which is like flour and something else, I believe. And then water, water, um, three tablespoons of oil, and then one egg. So I'm just going to add my egg right now. And then I'm going to mix my mix. <laughs> Okay, I just finished mixing up my whole Custies um, waffle mix, and now it is basically ready to go in here. So now for the actual waffle product, it opens from a side clip, and it is pretty interesting to move. I feel like it definitely has a sturdy ground. Like whenever I try to pick it up, it always somewhat sticks to it. So it's definitely a bit of the one flaws that I would like kind of change if I could. So this is how it is on the inside. And basically, obviously, it forms the shape of a waffle so that when you pour it in from the top, it just comes out as a waffle when you open it just like this. And then you have to, like, poke it out with a fork, basically. But it's super simple if you use, like, for me, I use a nonstick cooking spray, and I've always been using that. So it's pretty easy that way. So here is the heat measure. We are usually always using a 2, I believe. It's probably, like, not too crispy. It's, like, right in the middle with, like, that soft but also kind of crispy edge that we love. So that is that. So now, basically, this is also involved with the whole product review. So this obviously comes with, it is a little scoop, but exactly, like you might just be wondering why not just use any other cup or like why not just freehand it because you guys know I love freehanding everything. But this one actually specifically, if you measure all the way and pour it all the way, that is like an exact waffle shape. If you do anything, and I've tried, if you just do anything like like an inch less than this or like that'd be a lot but if you do anything that's a tad shorter than it it's not really a whole complete beautiful waffle that we want to get so that's why this cup is like important <laughs> and now we actually have the Cuisinart uh, review booklet so basically so yeah and so actually there are also recipes in here that we could use and there's obviously a lot of like more instructions that I basically just went over and so it's pretty darn handy and like there are also like more recipes in here such as like not even just like plain Belgian waffles but there's also like lemon poppy seed and buckwheat and like all those little cool waffles that you probably would only get at a restaurant but I was I'm never too big on like different waffles so I've always just used probably the easiest box I can find because that is completely from scratch and yes one day we will do it from scratch. Shout out to my friend Alyssa for recommending this. So here we go. All right, so this is obviously my mix here. It's not a, like a huge hassle if I'm doing like an actual this review for this one. It's probably, we only, I think that's the only waffle mix we've used with this waffle maker. So I'd say it's pretty good up till now. So I'm just going to gently add this to my cup. Obviously it has that light kind of texture. I'm going to add this and while I wait for the waffle maker, obviously I have just turned it on and plugged it in. So basically I have to wait until it turns green. So that, that way I know it's basically telling me like, okay, the heat is ready. You can add your first waffle. So I'm just going to add this and see it's obviously a lot of scoops. And so I'm just going to add this. And that is basically one waffle right there. And yes, it just beeped. So now we are actually going to add it. I don't know what hand I should do, but we're going to do this hand. So I'm just going to gently. And it's also very hot. Like they literally say caution hot. So don't put your fingers near the top. I think I did once, but yeah, it was not, not fun. 
so I just want to gently add that. It's definitely going in it in layers and it's super easy too. You basically just want to fold until almost all of it, even if you could just get like the very last drips or dots and then lightly pour that in. See the light change, so it basically knows when you add something and then it's just going, it went, once it turns green again, that's how we know that it is done. So now that it just beeped, so now it's green, I'm going to put my little clip here and then I'm going to lightly take it out. It is still hot, I can even feel on the clip. So now that is our beautiful waffle. Now sometimes if you do have it like even more, I guess you would say, sometimes there is like a big lump here that we don't really eat or I don't really, I don't really eat it but because it, it's just like a little mixture part, it's not the actual waffle. So this is our beautiful little golden brown waffle here definitely what we need because this part here is just like extra kind of that just didn't make it in the waffle but it's really just like a crisp part so here is our actual waffle and I'm just going to lightly pick the sides with a fork to make sure it's not completely stuck like so so see it's really easy to lift once you get the gist of it and then I can just slide my fork under and then place it on my plate and that is a decent sized waffle definitely good enough for one person definitely good enough for me and super easy to make and really probably efficient okay so now that my waffle is out and looking gorgeous i already added a little bit of butter and some syrup i am more of like a butter person than syrup i think um yeah comment down below do you guys like butter with like pancakes or waffles or just are you full on syrup one of those so i'm actually just going to cut some here oh definitely really easy to split apart it definitely has that shape to easily like cut through i don't even have to like try but i'm just going to take a little piece this is just obviously just here contains a bit of syrup so i'm just going to take it it definitely has this nice crisp here layer it definitely has a little bit of that texture and like the design but i can also see it is very fluffy on the inside with that golden round kind of like look so i'm just going to take a bite but actually it's really good this brand is probably i mean i'm so used to it by now and it always tastes good like it doesn't really let me down it's just a waffle and you can top it however you like i'm mostly just a plain simple syrup and butter type of girl so that's really all there is to it and also the waffle maker definitely did not let down either this time i've been using it for three to four years i believe and it's still really easy, really efficient to this day, so I would say it's long lasting. If any of you guys are wondering how to clean it, it's basically, we just use like a sponge to wipe through, because obviously there are hardly any like crumbs, if anything, they'll mostly be like here or on the edges where like the dough or the mix can't really get through. But either way, it's pretty easy to clean and use. So basically that is it for today's video, definitely a really simple product to use if you are looking for that it's super easy super efficient as i keep probably mentioning because i have been using it for a long time although we only usually eat waffles i'd say once a month so it's very very simple and i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below are you looking for a waffle maker are you more of a pancake person like what do you prefer Make sure to hit that um, big thumbs up and subscribe to get weekly notifications because I post every single week and just stay tuned and keep watching.